Yeah, the Palmares II study is a large observational retrospective perspective Italian uh, study that is uh, collecting real world data about the efficacy of first and subsequent lines of therapy in patients with HR positive, HR negative advanced breast cancer. And uh, in this specific analysis that I will be presenting here at TASCO, I will be showing the real world efficacy comparison of the three CDK46 inhibitors, palbocyclib, ribocyclib, and abemocyclib in combination with with first-line endocrine therapy in patients uh, with HR positive or two negative advanced breast cancer. And what we found was that uh, after adjusting for several uh, patient and tumor-related characteristics was that uh, abemocyclib and ribocyclib were more effective than palbocyclib in the whole study course. And we also performed uh, sub-analysis in uh, clinically relevant patient subsets, such as in patients with luminal b life disease, or in patients with liver metastasis, in premenopausal patients, and uh, uh, also in the patients with the novel metastatic disease. And what we found was that uh, um, different CDK46 inhibitors have different efficacy in different in these different settings. For instance, in patients with endocrine resistant disease, luminal B-like disease, and in patients with uh, who are premenopausal, we found that abemocyclib and ribocyclib are more effective than palbocyclib. Whereas in other clinical settings, such as uh, in patients with uh, bone-only disease, when patients who are older, the three CDK46 inhibitors have similar efficacy. So together with uh, uh, the safety profiles of these drugs, the costs, and also drug-drug interactions, our real-world efficacy data may hopefully help clinicians in choosing the most appropriate CDK46 inhibitor in uh, individual patients.